This is the book of Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you, and make you bare, and girth sackcloth upon your loins. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kach Wadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechach Wadash is the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in all truth and all sincerity. And I started this lesson with the book of Isaiah 32. From verses 9 through 11 and this is um going into how you know women you're going to be in you know straits very soon okay and you need to um hearken and take heed to what the men of the lord are saying okay the prophets of yahweh bashim shai in particular you israelite women which you israelites consist of you so-called blacks latinos and native americans and we also have some of our people you know some of our brethren and sisters Okay, they may look like a heathen, but ultimately they go back to our seed line. They go one. They go back to one of the twelve tribes. Now, if you're an Israelite, okay, like I said, I'm talking to you women, uh, in particular right now. You need to um, the repent. Well, actually, all Israel, but like I said, I'm mainly getting on you because of these two articles that I found. You need to repent, you know, because there's going to be great destruction that comes to this uh uh. uh this land called America, and not only just America, but worldwide, you know, and you see a lot of heavy judgment is coming down to you women because of your um, rebelliousness, you know, for so long you've, um, um, you know, you've been uh, usurping authority over men, okay, which is against the scriptures, meaning that you are in positions of power, you know, you're, uh, you know, managers, you know, you own businesses, and you're, you know, basically directing men and guiding men, which is, you know, not right. You're basically getting a power trip right now. And that's because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has given you this power. You see, in uh, in times past, women didn't have that power. Okay? They didn't have that power. And that's ultimately because the Lord, the Heavenly Father, has set up an order. Okay? You have... Uh, the Heavenly Father, which being Yahweh, He's the, the, the head of everything, okay? Below Him is whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai. And below Yahweh Shai is the Israelite man, okay? And then after that is the, the women and then the children, okay? But you see this society, they flipped everything upside down, okay? You got, uh, you know, women leading households. Women uh, 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 who are managers and bosses at the job. That's not proper. Okay. But now we're in the time of judgment. See you women. Okay. Let me just uh, um, read the, um, the headlines of these articles. And we're going to get into the articles as well. But I want to just read the headlines. As it says here. Um, I found this out. Uh, you know. Uh, through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. I found this. Alright. The, uh, uh, the uh, Actually the elder brother. Um. Uh, in our camp, a um, uh, 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 Nagab, okay, he um, he sent this article, and uh, this is from CNN. And this was uh, posted on January 8, 2021. This article is entitled, The U.S. Economy Lost 140,000 Jobs in December. All of them were held by women. Okay, you see? And um, when we get into this article, it's going to talk about how, in particular, you so-called black and Hispanic women... And also you Native American women, because a lot of you are actually just uh, uh, thrown into um, into the mix of being black and, and Hispanic, okay? How all of you, okay, and, and if you notice, those are the tribe women, okay? Those, those are the tribes. The, those are the ones who are hit the hardest, though. You're hit the hardest out of all, out of all, uh, all um, ethnicities, okay? That's one article, and the second article... Okay, which is um 
from uh independent that uh co uh uk which this is a uh, another um uh you know news source this uh, article i believe was made 2 days ago all right from what it says here okay this article is entitled you, uh, growing numbers of women dur- uh, turning to sex work as COVID crisis pushes them into desperate poverty. You see, this whole uh, pandemic has uh, really hit you women, man. All right, it's hit everybody, but you women are are um, are taking major L's right now. You're taking major, major L's. And like I said, in particular, you Israelite women, you know? And that's why you need to uh, repent. You need to, you know, uh, um, you know, if you have a husband, you need to obey him. You need to listen to what he's saying. Okay, if if you women don't have a man, you really need to be with the man of the Lord. If you're sincere and genuine, and you're, you know, trying to get right, and you and you want protection in the days to come, you need to be with the man of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, because that's the only way you're going to get out of this. Uh, uh, um, this chaos that's fast approaching. All right? And the reason why is because the men of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, they're going to have a covering, a hedge from the Lord. Okay? And as it says here, you know what? Let me go up above. As it says here in Isaiah 32 and 2, it says, A man shall be a, as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. You see, a man's going to be uh, your covering. Okay, He's going to be that hiding place. You know, he's going to be that, um, those rivers, you know, as if you were in a dry place. Okay. Basically meaning, you, um, you know, they're, they're going to be uh, your life source. Whether you believe it, like it or not. Okay. You know, but I highly recommend that you women, you know, uh, get in order, because this is your salvation. This is your, uh, um, this is for your own good. You know. You see. Okay, and see, you women, you know, this is something hard for you because for the longest, you've been exalted. See, now it's the time to get uh, to be humbled. Okay, not to be proud. Not to, you know to be on your high horse. All right, and trust me, uh, men don't don't want that. That's why a lot of you women are single in the first place, because no one wants a woman uh, uh, that 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 thinks that they're better than a man. Uh, a man doesn't want to hear a, a woman run their mouth. A man doesn't uh, uh, want to always, you know, uh, uh, have to deal with bickering and arguing. No one wants to deal with that. A man wants to come home to a loving wife, someone that's going to support them, you know. Someone that's going to uh, help them in their their journey. Okay, which that's really your role. See, you women think that you're the leader, which you're not. You're the helpmate, according to the scriptures. All right. But let me um read a little bit of these articles. I'm, I'm going to highlight uh, these points. Okay. Um, it says here, for three months, this is the uh, the article that, that's in CNN, the, the one about um uh, the U.S. economy uh, uh uh, that lost uh, it says it lost 140,000 jobs in December, all of them which were uh, held by women. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna hi- uh, highlight the uh, main points. For three months, they held more jobs than men in the U.S. economy, something that had only occurred one other time in history during a short period in 2009 and early 2010. It says, sure, there were still many other gender gaps. Women were more likely than men to uh, work part time, for example. Because of caregiving responsibilities at home, and even among full-time workers, they earn, on average, only 81 cents for every dollar of their male uh, peers. Nevertheless, women were making gradual gains. The pandemic quickly changed that story, and now it got uh, just got worse. And you see, the Heavenly Father, He used Esau, okay, to you know, put the hell on the uh, on the earth, okay. And now it's hitting you women uh, 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 the hardest, okay? Because really what, what Esau has done is he's he's used you women. And I'm, I'm uh, in particular talking about you Israelite women. He's used uh, um, you women to help destroy the Israelite family, okay? 
to help destroy the Israelite male. That's what the uh, Esau has done. And you see, we're getting to a point where Esau doesn't need you anymore. Okay? He's, you know, you've uh, played your, you know, your role. And now you're about to get disposed. He doesn't care about you. You see, you, you eat uh, Israelite women. You know, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native, uh, uh, Native American women. You believe that the, uh, the, the white man, lo you know, loves you and likes you. And that's not true. Just because he's giving you a nice job and, you know, he may smile at you. He may even, you know, you know, flirt with you. He may have sex with you. Doesn't mean he likes you, okay? Alright? He's just using you to, like I said, destroy uh, uh, our family households. You know, he wants our, you know, young children to have no father in the household so they can, you know, be, um, you know, effeminate. You know, be uh, 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 um, wicked, have no discipline, Okay? And with the majority of uh, uh of um children who don't have their fathers in their uh, in their life, the majority of them end up going to uh, to jail. All right, and that's because they have no structure. They don't have any guidance, true guidance. Okay, you see. Okay. You know that's what Esau has done. He's you know, uh, made sure that the Israelite male was on child. You know. Uh, uh, child support, so they can, you know, get a business, can't, you know, uh, have any gain in this world, all right? You see, now everything's falling upon you women now, and it's all falling upon your head, okay? I'm going to keep reading. According to new data released Friday, employers cut 140,000 jobs in December, uh, signaling that the economy recovery from the, um, the CV-19 pandemic is backtracking. Digging deeper into the data, also reveals a shocking gender gap. Women accounted for all the job losses, losing 156,000 jobs, while men gained 16,000 jobs. All right? <laughs> you know? That's beautiful. It's because ultimately, look, man, you women aren't as productive as men. All right? There's always drama in the workplace. And look, it's getting to a point where if you're not on point, you're you're just gonna get clipped. You're gonna get fired, and that's what we're seeing right now. And you women, you're not you're not up to par, okay, with the man. The man is way more superior than you. Whether you believe it or not, I mean, it's evident. We're physically, mentally, spiritually stronger than you. We we're more creative. Let's just get for real. Just facts. You know, I'm gonna keep reading. Meanwhile. A separate survey of households, which includes self-employed workers, showed an even wider gender d disparity. It also highlighted another painful reality. Blacks and Latinas lost jobs in December, while white women made significant gains. And you see, that's not by coincidence. You see, these Edomites, which are, you know, so-called, you know, whites, they, they, they're making sure that their kind are taken care of. Even though, you know, uh, women, you know, as a whole have lost jobs, they made sure that the you know white women were taken care of, because the these uh, uh women are um their daughters, you know to uh, uh um you know bosses. They're uh, uh you know uh, cousins or nieces to to you know bosses or whatever it may be. All right. You see, they may have a uh, uh their husband may be you know the the boss, so they're made, so th th these women are taken care of. But you, you uh, Israelite women, nah, they don't care about you. They don't care. Now I'm going to keep going down. Now let me go down to this right here. Black and Latino women disproportionately work in some of the hardest hit sectors in the pandemic, often in roles that lack uh, paid sick leave and the ability to work from home. As schools and daycares close, many were forced to make hard trade-offs between work and parenting. And that's right. And you see a lot of you women have put yourself in these situations too because you're not with a man. A lot of, especially you Israelite women, a lot of you are single uh, mothers. You know, you, you got children, you know, and you have no father around. You thought you were so-called independent, quote unquote, that you're an independent woman. You could do it by yourself. You don't need a man. Now look, you're through. And... You know, I'm going to uh, stop with this article, right? And with that being said, right, with all these job losses, what's that going to lead to? 
And we're going to get into this article. Growing numbers of, of women turning to sex work as CV-19 crisis pushes them into desperate poverty. That's what's happening now. Now you women, all right, and a lot of you are, uh, uh, um, and a lot, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of mothers, you're going to have to turn to sex work now, okay? Now, this is what, this is the reality of it. And that's another thing. See, now the, now the Lord is, let me get that real quick. Um, let me get this real quick. This is uh, Joe, um, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth that he also reap. Okay? And that's basically what's happening. You're sowing or you're reaping what you've sown. And I'm going to make a point. See, a lot of you women, you thought it was okay to go, you know, sleep with a bunch of men. You thought it was okay to have, you know, you would have a, a, a you know, a husband. Or boyfriend, which really your boyfriend is your husband, okay? You thought it was okay to you know um, commit adultery and, and cheat on him, all right? With, with other men, you thought that was cool, you know that, that there was going to be no repercussions. You you see, before you had a choice of who you wanted to sleep with. Oh, I wanted to sleep with you know you know uh you know uh, 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 Bob at the job, you know Steve at the job. Oh, I wanted to you know. Uh, uh, a hookup with, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, Billy, you know, at the bar, you know what I mean? You know, you thought that was okay and cool. You wanted that because, you know, uh, you chose it. But see, now you're not, you're not having a choice. You're getting forced to sleep with, with men, whoever they may be, for money. Okay. Now you now now you have no choice. Now you're getting forced into this, but that's what you wanted. You wanted to be with a bunch of men, so now the Lord has given it to you. All right, He's given it to you. This is the the you know the lifestyle you like to to live. The Lord has given it to you, but now boy, what are you women doing? Complaining, you know. You 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 you're uh, crying now. No one wants to hear that. All right, but let me get this. Uh, let me, like I said, highlight a couple of these uh, paragraphs here. It says, increasing numbers of women are turning to sex work for the first time. See, the first time. As the pandemic pushes them into desperate poverty, campaigners warn. Leaguing organizations which support sex workers said there has been a substantial rise. See, a substantial, meaning a lot. Rise in women doing sex work for the first time due to being over represented in sectors hardest hit by the CV-19 crisis. It says, The English Collective of Prostitutes, a leading campaign group which supports the de decriminalization of prostitution, said hundreds of teacher assistants, waitresses, cleaners, and beauticians have made inquiries about starting sex work for the first time since the CV-19 emergency hit in spring. Okay? <laughs> You women are, are taking L's now. Major L's. It says, Meanwhile, a study by the organization shared exclusively with the independent found sex workers were unable to feed themselves or their children and are being pushed into destitution and homelessness during the public health crisis. And you see, you women, you know, oh, you thought you were so independent. You can't even feed yourself and your children. A lot of laymen... They, 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 these are, um, you know, plague sent to you people. This is the, uh, this is judgment for being rebellious. This is judgment for being wicked. Okay, and then, like I said, this is in particular to you women. Heavenly Father's not playing. It says the survey of two hundred and twenty-two female sex workers found almost two thirds were struggling to afford to eat and were in need of emergency food vouchers. While three in ten were finding it difficult to access benefits from the government. Um, let me see. Let me go down. And then um, basically they were interviewing this uh, sex worker. She's pretty much saying that they're not making money like how they used to. They're barely getting by, okay? You could read it for yourself. I'm just going to um, get to the main points because of the, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, for time's sake. 
Um, well, where was it? There was another thing that I saw. Salaki, let me go down. So like, like I said, they had an interview from with this woman. Here we go. This is what I wanted to get. We are disadvantaged because we have been locked out from government support packages. All right, because she's complaining how you know um, how they uh, uh, out there in the UK they 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 need to make it a um, make it legal. Okay, prostitution, and then, you know, and she like how she said they're locked out from. Um, government support uh packages okay because they're not technically um uh um you know legal workers okay the, you know these are illegal acts and it says most sex workers are mothers but people don't know that when you have a kid your options of finding a job that pays enough to cover child care are limited but politicians have judgmental moralistic and contemptuous attitudes to sex workers and you see the main point is a lot of you sex workers are mothers okay Single mothers. Let's get for real. Single mothers. And now you're all getting screwed. And that's because of your rebelliousness. You know? Because for the longest... Let me get this. You live it in pleasure. You were living in pleasure. This is uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 6. It says, But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. You see, you were living in, in pleasure, all right? Carnally speaking, you know, you were uh, 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 able to screw men over, get money, get, you know, alimony, child support. You know, you were able to use uh, um, basically sex to get, you know, nice jobs, you know, stuff like that. All right. But really, how it says there, when she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Really, you were dead, though, because... If you're not, you're not spiritually, you know, um, uh, uh, if you're not uh, feeding your, you know, uh, uh, yourself spiritually, you're through. If you're not following the law, statutes, and commandments, you're through. You're done. Okay. You see, because the law, statutes, and commandments are really life. The the way of this world is death, and it's evident. Look, look what's going on. Look what's going on in this place. Everything's, you know, uh, decaying. It's dying. It's withering away. Okay? And if you see uh, us men of the Lord, we're telling our people, uh, the, you know, uh, the Israelites, we're telling, you know, uh, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and also the confusion of faith. Uh, well, Salak, let me rephrase it. The speckled bird, as the scriptures uh, talk about, you know, the, 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 the Israelites that look like the heathens, we're telling you to return unto your power. Get right. Or this is what's going to happen. You know? But a lot of you don't want to hearken. Especially you women. And you women are really... St are, 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 t uh, are taking the L's. You know? But hey, it is what it is. You know? And a lot of you are going to get rejected in that day. When you when you women want to, you know... Uh, 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 when you see all hell breaking loose. When, you know, when, when you're uh, in a, uh, you know, a super low estate... A lot of you are going to get rejected when you try to come up to the men of the Lord. And that's because you were proud uh, um, when things were good. You looked down upon us. You know, you thought we were nobodies. Well, in that day, you know what? You're going to find out that you're a nobody. Okay? All right? But um, that's basically it. But I'm going to end it off with this. I'm going to end it off with this uh, scripture here. Salaki, hold up. One second. Let me get this. This is, um, this is Mark 1 in, uh, yeah, this is Mark 1. You know what? I'm going to start at 15, 14. It's Mark 1 and 14. Now after that, John, this is talking about um, John the Baptist, was put in prison. Yahweh Shai came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of the Most High. 
saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. And that's what we're telling you people, okay? Repent, the kingdom is at hand, and believe the gospel. This is the time that we... This is the time to repent. This is the this is time to get yourself right. Because if not, you're going to get smoked out there. You're going to uh, die terribly. You're going to wither away. All right? Okay? And you know, um, I'm going to end it off with that. And you know, hey, you know, like I said, this is mainly for you women. Hey, get in order, man, because the time is at hand and things are getting serious. Okay? And if for you Israelite women who know that you're Israelites... You better keep obeying your man and you better not give him a hard time. Because best believe, look, the Lord can the Lord can kill you at any moment for uh, um, giving him a problem. That's one. And two, we're getting to a, a time period where uh, if you're if you're giving, you know, if you're giving the man of the Lord a problem, hey, that, that man of the Lord is not going to be, he's about to kick you out. He's about to, you know, uh, kick you to the curb, man. We don't got time for this. Things are getting serious out here. We don't got time for, you know, bickering, arguing. We don't got time for rebellion. This, okay? Hey, just you know, I, 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 you know, get in order and do what you got to do. Play your role, all right? And with that, you know, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemayashai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.